Hey folks, this is Fint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take another quick look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Now, Vinny Jr. and I are going to go ahead and play another game. Uh, this time around, he'll be the Rebel Alliance. Um, this is the first time that he'll be using the Hawk 290, or the HWK 290, I call it the Hawk. Uh, so that'll be interesting for him. Uh, for me, I'll be doing something different as well. I'll be using a TIE Swarm setup. Um, this is only going to be a 75-point game, so I'm not going to be able to use um, all eight TIE Fighters for the TIE Swarm, but um, I sort of made do with what I had. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what ships we picked and what upgrade cards go with them. Okay, as far as my setup is concerned, I have three Academy pilots. I also have Howl Runner and Night Beast, both of which have the Stealth Device upgrade. All of this comes to 75 points. As far as Vinny goes, he's got the HWK-290, uh, piloted by Kyle Katarn. The upgrade cards, Veteran Instinct, Moldy Crow Title, Ion Cannon Turret, and Recon Specialist. On the right, we have a Y-Wing, Horton Psalm, R2-D2, Blaster Turret, two Proton Torpedoes. All of that comes to 74 points. Okay, just a few disclaimers to get out of the way. Um, one, I don't have a dedicated video camera, so the lighting and the color may be off at times. Um, two, um... We try to follow the rulebook, uh, but on occasion we do miss a few things. We're not playing in any sort of tournament, so I'm not worried about it too much. Um, if you do see something that we're not doing right, feel free to leave a comment. Just do so in a uh, professional, you know, or, you know, nice manner as opposed to nerd raging over it. Uh, number three, um, we actually... Followed the rulebook as best we could as far as asteroid placement. Uh, before, we would just sort of agree on a setup. This time around, I picked a spot, he picked a spot, I picked a spot, and so on and so forth. So that's something new that we're going to be looking at. I'll be in the upper left-hand corner here, starting up here, and uh, his two ships will be starting up here. Okay, movement phase, starting with the pilot with the least amount of skill. Um, I've got three Academy pilots all at one, so I'm going to go ahead and just reveal those. It's three straight ahead for all of them. So let me go ahead and just quickly go. And again, we're not going to be perfect here, but we'll certainly try. And three forward. Okay. And next up, we have a five. Uh, what are your two skills? Six and eight? Yeah. All right, so. Because of one of the. Your veteran instincts bring you up to eight. Okay. So I've got a five and an eight. So let me go ahead and move my five. Again, it's a three straight with Night Beast. And I'm not even going to bother taking any actions because, I mean, I'm supposed to take actions after every move here, but we're not in really any, any range to do anything, any focus or evades that we do right now, at least for me. Um, will have to be removed at the end phase, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so there's the five, three straight ahead, and now the eight. Now, we have initiative uh, here. Uh, he's got two eights, I've got an eight, but he has a uh, squad point uh, total of 74, I have 75. He has initiative because of that. So um, the, person that, the player that has initiative, um, what is it, moves? First and attacks first. Moves first and attacks first, okay. So you get to move yours. Now what's yours going to be here? Two straight ahead? I will take an action. Alright, you're going to take an action. Now he, this is actually important because his uh, title um, and some upgrades allow him to retain focus tokens from round to round. So um, I'm actually going to let him play those out here. It's moldy crow. Moldy crow, uh-huh. Now, as part of your upgrade, your recon specialist, I believe, you get an extra focus token whenever you take a focus yes. action. Okay. So you did that, and now your Y wing is going to do what? Two straight, is it? Okay, and as you can see, we're really not in range for the combat, so I'm going to skip that. Um, now, is it, do you have any? I don't think you have any. Um, special abilities that allow you to retain abilities on a Y-Wing, so no action needed there. Um, so yeah, well, on to the end phase. Um, oh, actually, let me move my um, other TIE Fighter here. It's just three straight. Again, no, no action needed here. Okay. So yeah, end phase. Um, he gets to keep his focus tokens. Everything else would have been uh, thrown out anyway, so we'll move back on to the planning phase again. 
Okay, movement starting with the ones. Um, two slight turn this way. Okay, that's going to be a focus. Two slight turn and two slight turn for the other two here. Hopefully I spaced them far enough apart to where they won't hit. Yeah. Focus. And this one is also going to focus. Let's rotate the base. There we go. Alright, so that's about right. And uh, I've got a five now. Let's see here. Let's put these focus up here just so I'm not bumping stuff later. Alright, and five is next. Five. Two slight turn this way. I will take a... That was a green maneuver, and with Night Beast, I can take... Let's see, what do I get? Um, after executing a green maneuver, you may perform a free focus. So, um, I get a free focus action. Let me get more out of the box. There we go. So, I get a free focus action after doing that. Um, but I'm going to also take an evade here. All right, and uh, finally, uh, you actually, you have the eights and you have initiative, so you move first. One slight turn that way. And what do you want for your um, action? I don't know, I want focus. Focus? Two focus. Two focus, that's right. Yeah, you're going to be using these like crazy. Now, for him. Where is that thing? Where's your wheel? Is it one, one turn? Okay. Now I want to see what range we're at. No, we'll see you later. No, the action. What it, oh, you're trying to determine if you can do a target lock? At what range? We're at range... How about Night Beast? I can range three. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Should I? You're in range three of everyone, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Night Beast. Night Beast. Target lock. All right. V and V. All right. And finally, I will move my last TIE fighter here. Two slight turn. Okay, and I will take a focus. All right, so that concludes movement on to combat. Okay, combat phase. This could get a little messy. Um, so at the start of your combat phase, you can do what now? Move a focus. Kyle Katarn, at the start of the combat phase, you may assign one of your focus tokens to another friendly ship at range one to three. Okay, so you're going to assign a fo here. One of your focus over to your Y wing. Okay. So now you've got two uh, eights that can fire first. So um, who are you going to use first Night to fire? Beast. Well, who, who, which ship are you attacking with? The Y wing. Martin Song. Okay, and what are you doing with him? Photon. Okay, two so range two to three, four attack dice. So and you're going to spend your target lock to attack Night Beast. So um, you can just yeah give that up. There we go. Just put that off to the side. I need to use its ability. It has a uh, that's fine. So you get to roll four attack dice with that. I'm not going to move these wheels get, out of the way. You get six attack dice. Well, we'll see. Alright, so you've got one hit, two focus. Wait, I'll use his ability to re-roll the blank real quick. Okay, his, you can re-roll what now? Any blank. Uh, an attacking at range two to three. Yes, I am. You may re-roll any of your blank results. Okay, go ahead. You got a hit. Plus, that a photon torpedo, so let me change one focus to a critical. Okay. Hit. So you've got a critical. And, and because he has a focus token, okay. change into a type. All right, so you've got three hits and a critical. So you spent your focus. Okay, so three hits and a critical. This is going to hurt. Um, all right, so now I get, I'm at range, oh wait, 
Range 3 uh, doesn't matter, though, because it's a secondary weapon. So that doesn't matter. Um, however, I do have a stealth device. So uh, with Night Beast, I get to increase my agility by 1. So I get 4 defense die with Night Beast. And I have to hope that I get some evades in there. All right, so I've got three evades and a focus. I will um, spend my evade token. So now I have four evades against your four uh, hits. So no damage done there. Let's see what Kyle Katarn is. And Kyle Katarn can now shoot. Everyone's at range three. Depends, because Well, what are you attacking with? Well, first, what are you attacking with? Because range... I might be doing the iron can part. I am? might be able to. Because he's at... Well, alright. If you go on the other side, it's closer. Range 2, because I can... If you go that way, it's going to hit that Hold end on. of the base. Without trying to hit... This is going to be tough. Alright, let's see if I can... Slide in like this. Alright, so we are. Two for him. At, I, I believe. What's the range of your blaster? Two? One of the two. One or two, okay. I believe you can attack this one here, the Academy pilot. So go ahead and you can attack him. He's just barely range two. So with your blaster turret, what do you have to do? You have to spend a focus token yeah. to use it? No, that's the blaster. Oh, that's the blaster. Okay, so you're I using the it. ion cannon. Okay, so. I have to disable. Okay, so you get three attack with that. You get one critical. Oh, gosh. Now you have to, what you do with that critical is you uh, have to break, put that to a regular hit. Not him, but... Yeah, assuming you hit anything. Yeah. Um, I get three defense die. It's a secondary weapon, so range doesn't matter. Um, I get three defense die with that. Um, I have two focus. I will go ahead and spend my focus token on my academy pilot to uh, turn these over to evades, so the ion uh, blaster does not hit, and that ends combat for you. Now I get to return fire. Okay, um, starting with Howl Runner. Um, I believe I'm at range three. Him. Yeah. Barely. Based. If I look top down here, barely range three. I could attack. I'll attack Howl Katarn at range three. Um, what's your agility at? Two, two. So you get so you get three defense die for being at range three. Um, my Tie Fighter gets two attack die. So let me roll mine first before you do anything. All right, I've got one hit. Uh, wait, 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 How Runner? When another friendly ship at range one, which I am, um, as you can see, How Runner's in range of everybody. How Runner's right here. Um, when attacking with its primary weapon, uh, it may reroll one attack die. So I'm going to take my blank and reroll that. I've got a critical. So one hit, one critical. I don't even do anything. Okay, so you've got two evades, so you dodge that attack from How Runner. Um, next up, we have Night Beast, who has a skill of five. I will attack uh, Kyle Katarn, range three again. Um, let me roll mine. Two hits, I'll keep those. You've got an evade and a focus. You're going to spend a focus to not take any hits. Okay, so you're good there. Now I've got three Academy Pilots here. Um, range three for this one. Um, so I'm gonna roll two attack dice again. I roll three. I got two hits. Oh my god. I'm getting lucky, that's all. Well, you're getting lucky too. Uh, one evade, two focus. So you're gonna spend another focus token. No? Okay, so you're going to spend a focus to turn these over to evade. It's three evades, two hits, so no hit there. Um, my, uh, my middle academy pilot, oh, that is range three. Um, again, two attack die. Let me reroll this one using Howl Runner's ability. Focus, I'm going to trade in my focus token to turn that into a hit. Oh, so I've God. got two hits. Three blanks, so you take two hits. So you lose one shield and take one face down damage card. Two shield. Oh wait, yeah. One shield, one damage. Mm-hmm. All right. Finally, um, Academy Pilot. Now you attacked me at range two with this with the blaster. So we're at range two with this final. Or the ion rather. You use the ion at range two, so I'm gonna fire back at range two. Um, so I get two attack die, you get two was it 
two defense dice. Let me roll mine first. Uh, using Howl Runner's special ability, I'm going to re-roll this one. One hit, one critical. Two evades. Wow. Okay, so that lot of fancy flying here. Um, very little damage done. We'll move back on to the planning phase now. Okay, movement phase, starting with the ones. I'm going to go two straight ahead. This one is also two straight ahead. And finally, um, actually, let me do focus actions while I'm thinking about it. One, two, and I'm going to do a focus with him after I move him. And up. Focus. Next up, we have our five back here. He's Night Beast. Um, two straight ahead. Um, now with him, again, after performing a green maneuver, I can take a free focus action. So I will take um, my free focus action, but also perform uh, an evade. And Howl Runner, finally, he is also going to go two straight ahead, like so. And he will also favor the focus action. Actually, you should have moved first, huh? Yeah. You had initiative. Um, all right, well, let me undo that just to play by the... I mean, it may not matter, but, you know, just to, just to play right. All right, so let me undo the focus. All right, so go ahead and move your two eights first. You have initiative. I'm looking for this three straight. Three straight is... Both. For both? Okay, this is going to get nasty. Um, you just ran into my TIE Fighter, so you do we not... We can't attack you, right? Yeah, we can't... You can't attack that TIE Fighter there. Um, no action. You have a focus, but you can't take an action. But you do have your focus token from the previous round. And you said you're going to do the same thing with him? Yeah. Alright, so let's put... The, I've got tokens all over the place. Let's put the uh, focus tokens on the respective bases for, for at least right now. There's that. Put that behind there. Three. And he is also going to hit this TIE Fighter. So, no action there. Um, and then finally, mine two straight ahead. We're all at range one. I see this. This is, <laughs> this is going to get nasty. Yeah. Okay, so, and I will favor the focus action there. So I've got um, one focus for the Academy Pilot, one there, one there. I've got an evade. I've got a focus from this guy here. He's got a focus. Okay, so we're good there. So that concludes movement, and now we'll move on to combat. Okay, um, so what do we got here? Um, starting with the eights. Uh, who are you? Kyle Katarn's ability, get to move this focus token to another ship. All right, so you're going to move your focus to a Y-Wing, okay? I'll be using him. No. I'll use the blaster because I have to spend one focus. So you're going to use it. one to two. So you're going to use your blaster yeah. turret to... Screw that. Who are you attacking? Academy. Pilot. Which, which one? There's there's three of them. The one in front of me. Well, no, you're touching him, yeah. so you can't... The, this one here. Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay, so he's got a focus. So you've got three attack dice with that blaster turret, do you? Yeah. All right. And, okay, so you get to, okay, so go ahead. You've got two focus and a hit. So uh, you've already spent your focus to fire it in the first place. So you've got one hit. Um, here, let's put your hit over here where the camera can see it. And I've got, let's see, range. Now, range doesn't matter with a secondary weapon. So I get three defense die on my Academy Pilot. So let me roll... I've got two evade, so there's a miss there. Um, so your Kyle Katarn can now attack somebody, uh, just not the one that you're touching. I'll use the ion cannon. Ion cannon turret to attack who? Hmm. What range is he at? That's range. Everyone's at range one. Um, yeah. Yeah, range one. So who, are you using your ion at range one? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. And this guy. Howl Runner? Yeah. Okay. So you're attacking Howl Runner at range one with an ion turret. 
You get three attack dice with that? Yes. Okay. Without spending anything. Okay, without spending anything. So you've got a focus and a hit. So you have no focus tokens. So let me go ahead and roll my defense. Um, again, range does not matter at using a secondary weapon. I have a stealth device, so I roll four defense die. I've got three evades. Nice. Yeah, so the three evades, really. Okay, so no hit with that. So now I will fire back, um, starting with Hal Runner. He is at range one, primary weapon. I will attack Kyle Katarn at range one. Um, so I get four attack die, or no, three attack die. I, my regular attack is two, but range one means three. Let me roll mine first before you do anything. I get two defense die. Right, hold on. Two attack, oh two God. hit, two hits and a critical, I'll keep that. You have to. Yeah, well. All right, two, two blanks. So you get a face-up damage card and two face-down damage cards. So how much hull do you have? Four. Four. Okay, so your ship is destroyed. Munitions failure. Mainly choose one of your secondary weapons. Upgrade one of this card. <laughs> Munitions failure. Okay, so your Kalkatarn ship is gone. Um, oh god. So now I have the Y wing is left. I've who can I attack with? I've got my five here, definitely within a firing arc range one. And him. Well, um, let me do one at a time. So I'm going to do three attack dice on the Y wing. Uh, how many uh, defense die do you get? One. Okay. So let me roll mine first before you do anything. With Night Beast, I get... Alright, let me spend my focus token to make this a hit. How many hits? Three hits. Blank. So you Sh lose... Shields are gone. Shields are gone. Um, next up we have... This Academy pilot cannot attack. It's out of the firing arc. This one is touching the Y-Wing. Cannot attack. Finally, this last Academy pilot over here... Um, Range one, three attack dice. Let me go ahead and roll these. Um, one hit, two. Oh, oh. Using How Runner's special ability, I'm going to re-roll one attack die. I thought it has to be How Runner itself. No, How Runner is um, when another friendly ship at range one is attacking with a primary weapon, it may re-roll one attack die. So How Runner buffs the other nearby ships. I've got a focus. I will go ahead and spend my focus token to turn that into two hits. You've got one agility, so you get one defense. You've got an evade, so you, uh, so you take one hit. All right, so cleanup phase. Let's go ahead and remove these unused focus and evade tokens. And we'll move back on to the planning phase. Okay, um, movement phase, starting with the ones. Um, all of them are doing 3K turns, so no actions for any of them. Um, See, that's a two. Three. That's going to be rough. All of them are going to be stressed. Uh, so that's one. Uh, okay, so let's... This gonna be, okay, so let's put that there. And move that like so. That's also stressed. And that. Also stressed. So we've got three stressed TIE fighters there. Um, next up we have the five. That is also a 3k turn. More stress maneuvers. Once, yes, yeah, so that's one stress token for Night Beast. Um, now you move first because you have initiative. What are you doing? Two straight. Okay, so you're going to run That will time. allow you to use R2-D2 special ability to um, keep, you know, you regenerated one shield. Okay. So, no action, though, because you did cry with my ship. That's Finally, I've got a 3K turn. Um, let's go ahead and... The other side. Oh, that, red is, that is a res, uh, red... Oh, stress. my God. All the years are red <laughs> Well, okay. That's unfair. Alright, so, alright, so that concludes movement. We'll move on to combat. Combat phase. Uh, can you attack me? Uh, what, what turret do you have? The blaster bag. You have the blaster. Okay, okay. Um, so, because you have a blaster turret, um, technically he could shoot at me, however, he needs a focus token in order to use it. So, he cannot shoot me um, right now. So, moving on to my ships, um, I'm at, starting with this one, I'm at range one with Howl Runner. Um, so I get three attack die. Let me go ahead and roll these. 
I've got one critical and two Holy focus. Crap. So you get to roll. All right, you've got a focus. So you take one damage. You lose one shield. Okay. Next up, we have the five night beast. Range two, so it's two attack die. Um, let me roll mine first, and then how runner I might need him. Uh, let me re-roll the one with focus. Focus. Okay, so one hit. So you uh, go ahead and roll your one defense die. What range do you have to be at for how runner? Range one. What? I'm at range one. Trust me. Oh uh, yay! Uh, I thought you had. All right, focus. So you take oh one gosh. hit. It's a face down damage card. Focus are good today. Yeah. Um, all right. So next up, we have. I'll do this Academy Pilot range two. Again. Um, so two attack die. I'm dead. Again, Hal Runner. I'll re-roll the blank. All right. So I've got a hit and a critical. Two blank or one blank. So you take a face up damage card. Um, and that's a direct direct hit. So you you treat that as two damage. You've got five hits there. So you're. Y wing is gone. So good game, that Chief. Was <laughs> Behold that was the power of the tie swarm. <laughs> Die. Dun, 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 dun. And there you have it. Um, I don't know how, but I some I somehow pulled off a perfect game. I didn't get hit once. Now I see why a lot of tournament players favor the tie swarm. Um, just the ability to roll all of those attack dice um, and have uh, three defense die on top of that, it's, it's pretty powerful. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can check out my review of the base game at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com where you can click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.